We present the news. You analyze the various topics and distill the issues as they unfold. Your distillation points matter as we're about to highlight them in our social buzz report. GBN to the point give viewers and listeners the opportunity to share their thoughts on the eligibility criteria of the electoral process. Many express their opinions via the phone lines and our social media. Let's take a look and listen. The PEO must make arrangements for those visually impaired to participate in the electoral process, adding that the Constitution does not recognize a Grenadian citizen, but a Commonwealth citizen as a prerequisite for voting. After 10 years, you have the I, a card, a voter's ID card, right, and you have to get it renewed. Why? You cannot use the same ID card to get it renewed. You have to go and get passport and you have to follow that thing. Which this happened to me. I have my ID card. I brought it to get the thing, and they tell me that I have to go and get some board paper or some kind of document to get it print to get it reprint. It's not the same information that is on the computer and the same information on the card, sir. Entry. Andrea sent B. Mitch notes, 2022, is he saying that legislation does not make provision for visually impaired persons to cast ballots in secret? Whoa. Alistair Walwood writes, introduce Braille on the voting forms, please. You should have the technology to do so and in time for the next election. People are just ignorant of modern technology and even rudimentary measures that we can, anyone can implement. Rudimentary, I mean, with a, 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 a file folder to guarantee that each person with visual impairment, regardless of the intensity, can go into a polling booth and, move and vote for themselves. You people have to read. Don't blame us for your in considerate nature and your incompetence over the years. As a post, Andrea Sen B. Mitch says, what's the difference between one's domicile and residence? And does this difference have any bearing on one's eligibility to get registered? And finally, Alistair Warwood Sr. asked, what is the expiration date of this new card? And you shouldn't have to just awake one morning and declare the voter's card expired. That's it for tonight's Social Buzz. We invite you to share your thoughts and comments on our social media platforms.